Hey YouTube, it's Mo and Justin. And we are back with another one of you guys requested a video. And oh, I forgot who requested it. I'm sorry. I should have put the name down. But the question is, uh, when you guys first got together, what was one thing you can stand about each other? And over the years of you guys being together, how have you seen each other improve characteristics wise and improve on that one thing that you can stand about each other? So I'll let you go first. Mm. The one thing I didn't like about you when we first got together was how shy you were, how reserved you were. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, the way I was when we first started, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a very open person, mm -hmm. you know, I'm very outspoken, I was very out there. And you were so reserved, it's like, I wanted to make you feel comfortable and I wanted you to make you, I want you to feel like you could do anything in front of me and feel any way in front of me without feeling like you're going to be judged or looked at differently. Mm -hmm. Why are you rolling your eyes? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Is that all? That's the thing that I didn't like the most because I just want you to feel free around me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you feel like I've improved on that? Yeah, you've actually improved by leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, you really, like, have opened yourself up a lot more over the years. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I feel like you could be more free with me. But, and not feel scared, but, yeah, you have increased dramatically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the one thing I couldn't stand about you is when we first got together. Um, he was always like mean to other people. He just picked on people all the time, and like he had no regards for their feelings at all. And you know, some things I just didn't find funny. Like he's a very funny guy, but I was like, okay, that's kind of crossing the line. So I didn't like that at all. Um. And then, too, I don't like that, like, in the mornings, he would, like, snort his nose or whatever. <laughs> yeah. That, and it just got on my nerves so bad. Um, have you improved on that, on those two things? You tell me. I think you have. Um, you don't do the snoring thing anymore, so that's good, because that's a fucking headache. Um, the picking on people, yeah, you've gotten better at it, because you used to be just ruthless. Um, I mean, you still do it, but it's not like such cold heartedness in it, but it's funny because now we are kind of like switching roles because, you know, like he said, I was shy and I said that he was kind of mean. It's kind of reversing, not so much as him being shy, but he's more of the quiet one now. And I'm more of the like, you know, just tell it like it is. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about what people say or what they think. And so I'll tell people that or whatever. And he's like, you know, baby, chill or whatever. And so when he's just kind of more of like the level-headed one now, and I'm the one that's always just ready to go. So I think that that's funny, like, how we kind of, like, rubbed off on each other. Like, when you're with someone for a long time, it, you're going to rub off on each other. And you're not even going to notice it until... You know, someone tells you or it's like, oh, my God, I said what he says or she says what I said. Because, I mean, you can't help it when you're around somebody every day, all day. Mm. And I think the reason what made me change is as I got older, I looked at the repercussions that could potentially happen. I looked at what could happen in a result of something that I said. And I learned that, you know, you you don't know who you don't know who somebody knows. You don't know who that person knows. Like the six degrees of separation. And if I'm being an asshole to one person, they could tell somebody else. They tell the next person, and then that next person that they tell could be somebody that could potentially change my life or open a door for me. So it's like when it comes, to, I've learned to be more reserved and hold my tongue to a certain extent because I don't want I don't want to burn bridges. Well, burn potential bridges before they even created. Mm -hmm. But I feel like 
my I feel like I I'm more free on my Twitter account. I feel like I can say whatever I want. And I say, I mean, I'm the same way on my Twitter, the, the way I am in person, but I'm more reserved when I'm in person because I know it's a time and a place to say certain things. Mm -hmm. and I know it's a type of people, type of person, type of crowd of people that you can say certain things. So I feel like that's where I've come, where I've grown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you just want to be fake tough, though. I'm not being fake tough. I mean, I've been through a lot. And, you know, I was always the shy girl and the quiet girl. And, you know, you, you know, you get older and you get to a point where you just don't have patience for bullshit. And it's just like, you know, just get out of here with that. Because, like, life is too short. And I'm trying to move forward with my life. And it ain't, if you ain't trying to help me progress, then I don't care what you're saying. But anyway, um, anything else you want to add, Boo? We hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Because we had a good one. No, I, no, no, nothing like that. I mean, I know one thing. I, one thing I know. Never mind. I'll talk about that later. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, um, it's just all about compromise, um, communication. Like we always say, if you know something that you don't like about your partner, open up and let them know. And if it bothers you enough, then if that person loves you, then they'll they'll you know change it. You don't want to be careful not to try to change the person totally, but you know if, if there is just one thing that you just cannot stand, it's like oh my god. Let them know, and just kind of come to a compromise. People, but people, people have to not be scared to talk to their. Yeah, that's other. what I'm saying. Communication is the key. But yeah, people understand. Well, that, yeah, people understand that saying. But still, it's like people just don't want their significant other to start acting differently. Or then you know, I said this to them. Now they acting all different. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. if they really love you, then they'll know that you're saying it, you know, from a secure exactly. place in your heart. That's so. what I'm saying. It's like, but the thing is, like, people got to learn how to not be, like, scared. Like, if there's yeah. something, if there's something about me, I'm going to tell your ass because I'm not going to sit there and go through my days. Yeah, if you're scared to tell your partner something, then that's a problem. That's a big issue. Are you scared to tell me? No, I'm not. I'm huh? not scared to tell you anything. You're not scared to tell me anything? No. I just did this. Okay. And I can't even edit this. Okay. So. <laughs> My bad. Oh, gosh. All right, let's go, man. It's every day. But, um, so, yeah, I hope that answered the question. I, oh, I'm sorry I didn't write her name down. I should have wrote her name down. But she's a loyal subscriber, and, you know, she comments on all my videos, and I love you to death. You know who you are. Um, hey, so, yeah, boo. if you have any other questions, you guys, let us know. We're going to do another video about hoes and men. I don't know if I'm going to post it on here. I probably will. I don't know. We'll see. All right, you guys. Have a safe and happy holiday, and we'll be back with another video.